Hello, I'm Nathan Skipper. I'm the VP of Sales with Montgomery Technology Incorporated and on this video I want to explain to you uh, how you can add your account information and your personal information to the Connexus client which is used for participating in from home visitation sessions with an inmate in a detention facility. Uh, av after you have installed the Connexus client which is explained in a previous video uh, you'll be prompted to go through the Connexus registration which is required in order to be able to uh, know who you are and where you are and participate in the visit. Uh, when you first see the screen you'll see uh, the account information uh, registration screen which is shown here and uh, it'll have two steps to it. The first is to just give us your general identification information which we'll use uh, to process your visits uh, this information is not given to anybody except to the facilities that are that have these visits uh, and uh, this information is only used to schedule and participate in the visits. Uh, you'll notice that we ask you for your first name, last name, date of birth, telephone number, which in this case the telephone number is probably the most important field that you can fill out understand that the telephone number is what we use to identify you in the system and it is what is used to connect you to the inmate in the facility so uh, please provide a valid telephone number and a telephone number that is unique um, if you register uh, several different times on several different computers please make sure that you set up uh, a different telephone number for each of those and uh, that way we can identify just which computer you need to be connected to. Um, so provide your telephone number, your address, city, state, zip code or postal code, and your um, country. And then lastly your email address. Again this email address is important so that we can know uh, who you are and know how to contact you should uh, the status of your visit change. There are two options that you have when scheduling a visit or participating participating in a visit with Connexus. The first is through a inmate initiated call and in this case the inmate in the jail would dial your telephone number from the Connexus software that he has, he or she has, and that software would connect you uh, to the jail in that way. Or you can schedule the visit through the facilities uh, Connexus page. When you do that, uh, the, the, there will be a time that is reserved for your visit and at the time that that visit comes up, your uh, software will be connected to the jail and you'll be able to participate in the visit. But in either case, we need uh, this basic information to be able to connect you to the inmate. So once you've filled out that information, you can click Next and we'll ask you at this point for payment information. Now for any from home visit there must be payment for it. Uh, you can do that in a number of ways. You can pay with a, a standard debit or credit card. We take Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express, or Mastro. And we also take Connects, pay, Connects Pass prepaid codes. Uh, there's another video that explains how to use the Connects Pass or purchase Connects Pass, uh, but in any case, you can use any of these payment methods to uh, participate in the visit. These cards will not be your card will not be charged until your visit is complete. At the point that your visit starts, we will authorize payment for the maximum amount uh, that the visit could be. And then, if you end your visit early or end your visit on time, whichever is the case, we will charge you for the amount of time that you have taken in that visit. But you need to provide your payment method. You can pick any one of these methods and uh, fill out the uh, required information. For a credit or debit card, you need to provide your card number, the CVV code, which is the security code that is either on the back of your card, if it's a MasterCard or Visa card, or on the front of your card, if it's an American Express. Um, and then we need your card holder, first name and last name. This should be the name that is on the, the card itself. And then also the expiration date 
and the billing address, which is the address associated with the card. For prepaid or for Connects Pass prepaid uh, code, you should select the prepaid option and then fill in the information provided, um, which we need the Connects Pass code, which would be provided when you purchase the Connects Pass, and then the buyer first and last name. Uh, this is needed in order to be able to tell that you are the person that holds the card, or holds the code. So once you fill out this information, you can hit the finish button and this will complete the wizard. Once you've done all that, you're ready to participate in the visit. Now, if you have a need to change your information, maybe you want to assign a different telephone number for your account or you want to use a different payment information or payment method for this account, then to get back to the Connexus registration process, you can go to your system tray down here in the right hand side of any Windows uh, operating system, you'll have what they call the system tray. In the system tray, you'll find a uh, shortcut arrow, which is the MTI Connexus Client App. If you right-click on that uh, Connexus Client App icon, you'll have the option to edit your info. When you click on that, the wizard will appear again, and you can go through the process of filling out your registration information again. Go through those uh, two steps, just as I demonstrated before. So that's the Connexus registration uh, process, and that's how you add your information specific to you for the account.